Today we're going to take a look at a brand new software update that was just released on the weekend for Autopilot 2 equipped cars. And my understanding is that it brings the user interface from the uh, center information display um, or on the Model 3, the first third, up to more of a par with uh, Autopilot 1 camera. So we're going to take a little drive around and I'm going to show you what the system looks like today. And then we're going to do the software update and we're going to come back and we're going to take a look at the differences afterwards. So. Let's see what it does. Let's go for a drive. So we're on a two lane road here and I don't have autopilot uh, enabled or auto steer. And largely right now the user interface really shows just the single car in front of me. Um, I've noticed that when we get on highways that you tend to see a little bit more information. So as you can see here in the screen, there's the odd time where the uh, radar in the front will catch the second car in front of me but it never really truly shows me cars beside me. And this is a clear difference because if you've ever driven an Autopilot 1 equipped car, they um, used to be powered by the Mobileye system. This was from uh, 2014 to about 2016. Uh, those cars equipped with um, the first version of Autopilot was powered by a different computer system chip uh, made by a company called Mobileye. And um, the instrument panel would show you not only cars around you, but it could differentiate between cars, motorcycles, and semi-trucks. And since uh, Tesla went to the Autopilot 2 system, they've been mostly working on the algorithms and stuff, and uh, not quite as much on the visual details. So my understanding here is that we'll probably get a significant upgrade to the visual interface on the instrument panel for Autopilot after we do the update. So we're just going to hop on the highway here. and. Um, have a look and see what it sees with some uh, a little bit wider lanes and we'll compare it after the software update. So as you can see I have a UPS truck in front of me. Oh and there's a van so you can see uh, two cars and it disappeared in the other lane so we don't get that visual reference once it gets in the other lane it disappears. Uh, it appears that the current version of Autopilot 2 in this firmware, and the firmware we're running on this car, I'm just going to check here, is 2018-20.5. Uh, and it appears that the priority is really to show you the, f the car in front of you that it would potentially f be following. So if I just um, enable cruise control and then auto steer, you can see here it pretty much locks onto the front uh, the car in front of me and doesn't really show much more than that. We'll get off on this highway. Here I'll just disengage autopilot and we'll just move over. So yeah, you can see here that the um, <clears throat> the car off to the side has certainly disappeared. So priority seems to be uh, definitely on the car that it's trying to follow or directly in front of you. Now, if this was an Autopilot 1 equipped car, that semi-truck in front of us would actually show up in the instrument display as a semi-truck rather than just another car. All right, at home, so let's apply the software update and then uh, we'll come back and see what the differences are. By the way, these software updates always show one hour and 40 minutes, but they don't always take that long. So we'll just hit install. And the by, by the way, if you want, you don't know, I don't know if you know this or not, but if you want to bypass this two minute countdown timer, just tap three times, it goes to one second and it'll start applying the software update. So let's let this uh, finish and we'll come back and we'll check on it in here in a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go back and do the same pattern as we did earlier prior to the update. And uh, hopefully this time we'll be able to see some visual changes here on the instrument cluster as far as what autopilot sees. So get some more information. Yeah, I can already see a difference now. You'll see that uh, Autopilot sees the Jeep in front of me, the second car in front of the Jeep, and that car off to the right there, that uh, Mercedes. I'm going to uh, switch lanes here just very quickly and just see what kind of other information we can see. Aha! Uh -huh. Definitely more information. I can see up to six cars now at this point, maybe a bit more. Yes, definitely an improvement. You can see that the prior version of Autopilot would not show me cars in the adjacent lane. 
Now, of course, with autopilot version one, these dump trucks would show up as semi trucks on account of them having a much larger surface area on the rate uh, where the radar was bouncing off. Um, I don't know if that's something they're going to add to autopilot version two. There's no reason why it can't detect those things, but I don't think it's really a priority. What we don't know is and I, I actually believe that Autopilot 2 could actually see more vehicles than what was displayed in the prior version of the firmware, but Tesla probably didn't get around to actually showing those cars on the display, but now they've done a, a big software update where you can actually see the different vehicles in adjacent lanes and how many are in front of you. Well, let's try Autopilot and see if it sees anything different. now. It's following the car in front of me. Oh yeah, you can definitely see now that it still sees the car in the adjacent lanes. Now, prior to this update, uh, it would only ever show me the car that I was following. And now we can actually see up to four cars. There's another one coming up beside me. Oh yeah, it definitely shows more cars now. Yeah, so this is definitely a lot closer to Autopilot 1. What I don't know at this point is how many extra cameras have been enabled, whether it's still the three forward-facing cameras or whether they're actually using the side cameras as detection. I might just throw some tape on those side cameras and just see if it changes anything. This guy here on the left in the Corvette, his license plate says Tzatziki. I think he's Greek. Now how does someone end up in the ditch on a beautiful day like today? a blown out tire. Oh, yeah, she's okay. Curious to see if it sees the police officers here off to the side of the road. No, it doesn't. I think it's limited to what lanes it actually sees. So that's a shoulder, so it won't show you the cars in the shoulder. It's strictly whatever cars are in front of you um, between the visual lines. Alright, so the other thing on this autopilot, it says that uh, when taking a highway exit or interchange, the traffic where cruise control will decelerate as needed. So let's try that. Let's take this exit, and um, since we're on autopilot, and we'll see what it does. So I'm waiting for the lines to show up. Okay, so we're going to go into the other lane. This car is in front of me. Oh good, he's moving to the other lane, so this gives me an idea of here what's going on. Oh yes, it is slowing down. Excellent, very nice. Yeah, before this would get all freaky. Now it won't bring me to a complete stop, but it is definitely decelerating. Oh, this is wonderful. Now it won't bring me to a stop, so I got override here. I'm just, just gonna disengage. That's great. You know what, that's a... Um, that's a wonderful switch now because uh, some of the full self-driving technology uh, Elon said was going to start arriving in version 9 of the software sometime this August or so a couple of months from now. So that is excellent. I really like that. That was one of the major things that was bothering me in the previous version of Autopilot is that if you left it in Autopilot and you took an exit, um, you weren't always guaranteed that it would slow down and that time it worked really well. So looking forward to that. Now all we need really is stop light and stop sign detection. So the car will actually bring you to a complete stop without having a car in front of you. So anyways, plum, uh, thumbs up on this update. I really like it. Um, I was hearing some reports of the NAG screen coming up a little more often, but um, I haven't seen any evidence of that. So I'm gonna assume that it's still on the same timer of about one minute. Of course, I was holding the uh, bottom of the steering wheel, so maybe that kind of contributed to that fact, but anyhow, I like it.